Ladies and gentlemen, sitting at 26,968 skill points, which is rank 592 on the world leaderboard. The old Beatman with no stats on his account. Yet again, what is going on? 47 days, 4 hours, and 47 minutes until the end of season 15. What is up? Risk takers, welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. We're doing another round of Europe. Fixed Europe Advanced Fixed Capitals. So I'm in the first seat playing as white, okay, with nothing fancy other than alliances. Ah, uh, Istanbul looks okay here. I mean, it's a four, so starting with a strong cap is always nice. But we're going to take Dinark Alps off that, too, in the open is how we're going to play it. Let's see if I can ally with any of these folks. Magenta says yes. Blue says yes. Red? Not. Okay. Red caps and rush I like. So yeah, uh, turn one to Narc Alps into hopefully helping me take Orient. I like to start setting. Full settings. We're doing Capital Conquest on Europe Advance. Auto 60. Expert Neutral Bot. With fixed cards, true riggedy riggedy random dice. Because cast rolls are broken, blue takes the shithole Scotland cap. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. If me and red are the only people on the right hand side of the board, I like that a whole lot, actually. Let's see what magenta does. Oh, magenta takes Finland. That's good for me. If there's nobody between me and green's cap, then green and I become either natural friends or natural enemies, depending. Orange final cap in Northern Italy, in Greece. Orange neighbor caps me. All right. Orange neighbor caps me to start. Oh, yeah, why am I slidering? True random, folks. True random. No sliding required in TR. We do get good dice. We do take it. All right, we got a seven cap. I'm pretty sure a seven cap holds. Unless Orange does something dumb, like trying to steal a seven cap, and he might, because he might be dumb. Uh, green doesn't break. Great. Orange is the only player who hasn't allied me. So either Orange, I'm predicting, breaks or tries for the cap steal. If they try for the cap steal, they probably lose all their troops, but that might not be good, because then it feeds it to... Whomever is next in the turn order, at least I'm next in the turn order, so I'll have a chance to recover. If they somehow manage to do both, my game is sunk, but that's true random. There's nothing I can do to stop that. Red working on his bonus gets okay dice. Yeah, I think you stop there. Okay, guards with seven cap as well. Blue. Blue could maybe attempt to steal. As the four goes down, no. Just takes noob corner like a noob. We like this. We like this a lot. Okay. I'm going to use the extra troops I hopefully get from holding Denark to slowly but not too quickly take the Orient pocket that I'm inside of, which leaves my cap open this way but not really that way up till and including the moment where orange does something dumb which could happen anytime right him choosing the cap in greece is very very bad for his game and kind of bad for mine so we'll see Ooh, it's a green three isn't punished all right and moment of truth let's see what orange does here do they attempt to steal a seven cap turn one That would be very bad, right? What I'm, what I'm thinking Orange might be thinking is a very, very bad move. Doesn't mean he isn't going to do it. We see a lot of very high-level high Newbery on these settings. He does start with nine, so. Uh, 
Goes for Italy, we hope. Goes for the Dinaric break. Eats my first turn. Which one do you think it is? Goes for the Dinaric steal? Take Italy. Yes, goes for the Dinaric steal. Oh, man. Okay. Fair enough. Green didn't ally either. Okay. Ah. The steal was a good move. Because I can't retaliate. If nobody breaks, that's bad for me. But it's, it's still fixed capitals. So I can just build up on a huge cap and let him piss other people off. Because if he's willing to steal a bonus turn one, he's willing to get into wars with other neighbors as well. Red doesn't break, does blue. Come on, blue. Avenge me. Earn a friend. It's so easy for you to do. It's so easy for blue to do. He just has to do it. He's going to do it. Thanks, blue. You got a friend in me. Oh, bad dice. You got a friend in me. A quid pro quo expected for blue in the future. I unfortunately have to keep all my troops on capital now for a while yet. Mm -hmm. Green exams. Green takes France here. Bad dice on an AP5? Or am I just being host targeted? Alright, I'm just being host targeted. Mm -hmm. I can't really address it. Take an easy card. I gotta get stronger. Hmm. Ten set on three. Great. Steal his capital? What will I have? 30 on a 10 cap? <laughs> it's true, random. You can still get punished. You pull that shit. But stealing this guy's capital would be so fucking satisfying. Do we hope to get lucky? No, I think we play conservatively. Would it ever be fun to steal this guy's cap? This doesn't feel like a good move. Like, I'm going to have 10 set on three. So, I'll get the five. So, it'll be, it will be a 30 cap. You know, let's see how many troops he actually has on capital. That will make the calculus. If I want to roll 30 into a 10, you could just lose, right? You just lose everything. Ah, you need some, some amount of balls. Give me enough to take... Uh, does it give me enough to take Orient in a single shot? Mm. That's also possible. All right, let's see what orange does. Does orange break red? I 
I think I just roll his fucking capital and hope to get lucky. See what he does. It's, it, we still have to figure it out. Getting seven turn for rolling 16 territories. I need to address this. I need to address it now. How many did you leave on capital? Everything, right? He puts everything on his capital. Right? Correct. Cool. Let's put him under 12. Give, give my cap big enough so you can't retaliate. There's, you start a war of attrition with your neighbor. You get it. You, you fucking started it. You fucking started it, you stupid idiot. Do you have a 10 set on three? You fucking started it. And you're lucky you put your troops on your capital. Irishman. Hmm. Starts the fight and going to hold a grudge. Ugh. Don't, don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, Red. That's where Red's expanding into. Fair enough. Okay, blue. Hmm. Give me that fucking bonus, though. Yeah, orange has nowhere to go. And Caps next to me targets me on on the open to our mutual defeat, I think. I just get sued randomly by this guy. When he has cards. I can cap stack long enough, I'll be okay. The dentist sets here. Steals the blue cap. That's an interesting line. Yeah, I like it. 28 v 10 and good roll. Very good roll. Yeah, now blue's game is sunk. Hmm. Blue's not lined up to deal with that. You definitely don't open the eight. Oh, you definitely don't roll it. What are you doing? Oh, no, Magenta, no. Magenta had that. That was a great play up to and, and including this territory. Opening that was dumb. Put it all on cap. Blue can't take that back. Now it's anyone's business. Okay. If you're orange and you have a set and you sue, that's game. You lose that roll and I laugh in your fucking face. He's better than that. He's not good enough to not start targeting me from the open because now he's in a bad spot. But having a wounded animal next to you is not good either. I needed to keep him weak. Yeah, you're not going to hold anything, man. You're obviously not going to hold that. Okay, it just takes one. I like, yeah, and I reciprocate. At any moment, this guy could accept my alliance request, and I would forgive. Because I don't want to be in a mutually dis assured destruction scenario either. Red has perfect lines on this cap now. There's nothing stopping Red from taking that and fortifying the nine to it. Magenta probably has lost himself and blew the game. I just need to outlast that. Red takes that here. Set, take the six, for sure. No, Red's missing. Red is missing a chance to drastically improve his position. Red wants to be in Western Europe. Yeah. Ooh, stacks on the cap. That's dumb. No, that's a guard stack. I, I guess. I guess. I guess. Yeah, Magenta shouldn't be allowed to hold this. They should lose now. Takes the four cap back. Magenta's in a war of attrition with blue. Blue only has four. Breaks? Uh, what do you do if you're blue? You fortify the six up. Here. 
what has lines in. Even if orange has a 10 set on four and he sets and sues my capital, I'm still good. The only thing that stops orange and I from killing each other this game is him accepting his, the alliance request right now. Because I have no reason to let this guy have anything. And he started it. Okay, we lose five on a four and we remove blue from the pocket. Magenta is dumb lucky that red didn't steal their six cap. All right, turn five for orange. Set, see my capital. Drug. How dumb are you? Sure, let me help you, Blue. Let me help you. All right, how dumb is orange? Him quitting would be great. Set, 10 set, yeah. Doesn't sue my capital. Bingo. Yeah, gets me under 12 territories. No worries. And I will get you under 12 territories and we keep fighting. Do we get another set? No. I can't let Orange have anything, right? I, there's no way I can possibly let him have any advantage. It does me no good, right? <laughs> yeah. And now red takes a plus eight. This game is going to be over quickly. I get like fourth, third or fourth this game. Red's playing it slow, which I like. It's good for them. It actually does, however, give Orange a chance to hold board. Bob's going to go up this way. Yeah. Uh, that's a good line for blue. Magenta did not know what they were doing. I'm gonna leave like a four on that cap and he's gonna lose it again. And hoppa. Yes. Okay. Really good board for red. If you're red, you're licking your chops here. I would have to forgive Orange if he accepted the alliance. But that's his only hope. Because otherwise we both lose. But I mean, him capping there kind of means we both lose. And that's the way the cookie crumbles, right? You end up next to it. We win a 4v3 cap roll, we see. We see a 4v3 cap roll win. What are the odds of that? No, put it on the capital, you dumbass. God. Dude, Magenta is so bad. <laughs> Red is going to just fucking steamroll this board. Oh, I like this. Now he closes it off and he leaves a 10 there. Yeah. He leaves a 10 there, forced me to hit a 10. Uh... Can to help me? Do you help me? You do not. All right. <sighs> Sorry, man. <laughs> really shouldn't have stolen my bonus turn one. <laughs> really, really shouldn't have stolen my bonus turn one, man. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> it wasn't a good move. Gets him under 12, gets the break.
Yeah. You won't have 12 again. Or just made us both lose. That's so disappointing. I guess that's risk. Nothing you can really do to stop it when some idiot decides that you and he have to die. Also, I'm sure this man isn't a total idiot, Barry Fukushima. I'm sure he just made a made an error, and now he finds himself in an intractable situation. <laughs> just one small error. Magenta's getting a ton, or red's getting a ton. Blue's in big trouble. Green's also doing all right. It looks like I don't get out of fourth here at the best. Best possible placement seems to be fourth. I'm going to have to be very lucky to get out of fourth. Dude, just sue my capital. Get it over with. Just fucking obliterate your own troops, please. Just fucking sue my capital, dude. You know you want to. You know you started this war, and you don't know how to stop it. Just sue my capital. Hopefully this continues long enough that we keep hitting each other. That my opponents actually start hitting each other. <laughs> That's the hope. Green doesn't even have a capital. He's two bonuses somehow. Regan 25 a turn. There's no reason to not take this now. Right? Why would you let Magenta get strong? I said as early as I can. I said on three. I said on four every time. Um, I don't want to be holding cards. I don't want anyone to think that I'm worth killing. I don't want their instincts to tickle them in any way. Fucking make sure that we live as long as possible. It's a very desperation type situation. All right, red probably steals the dark elves from blue, which is favorable to. Yeah, now you can't even hold the bonus. Yeah, he he refuses the alliance too. This is either um, a suicide incoming or. I wonder. Okay, blue, blue gonna do. Blue's playing off cap, which I, which I'm very impressed by. He's not quitting. My situation with orange is so fucking dire. Drake's magenta. Yeah, nobody stops red. This game is won by red. Blue mm. doesn't know how to get out of their situation. Nothing stopping Magenta from just eating this entire blue pocket. What we should see them do. Let's see if Barry Fukushima is on my, <laughs> on my server. Good to know. Good to know. I'm not gonna be facing this guy in the KPO two. <laughs> Holy fuck! Okay, and set to my capital, <laughs> please. Please lock yourself in into lowest placement.
I need all my troops on cap right now. Just in case he sets and gets really lucky. Yep, 10 set again. Green is chilling on his two-point Spain. Red is now as strong as three. Maybe four opponents. This is a one game by Red. He steps into Germany. Yeah, there's no reason to rush if you're Red either. You have the game won, so as long as you don't get mutually slammed by a bunch of people, you laugh. Okay, that comes into Magenta. Maybe Magenta lives le like shorter than me, right? There's always a possibility that these attrition battles go bad. I, I still see maybe a line for third at the best. Red and green should go first and second. Yeah, we saw that coming a mile away. Magenta sets and takes it back. Gonna put a four on a capital? Oh, fails that roll, bummer. Still go pop pop off this four and fortify that one over. Okay. Impress it, no one has quit either. And magenta sets retakes. Drew Magenta, you definitely remove this blue position. I don't know why he's letting him hold. Blue's just going to keep using those extra troops to fucking throw them into you. Yeah, now you break, right? Now you break if you're Magenta. One, two, three. And break the bonus. Yes. Oh, fails that roll again. Six V two? You break. Oh, fails. Oh, Magenta got super unlucky. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Come on, Orange. You know you want to get out of this game in the classiest way possible. By suiciding into my capital. And realizing you're a loser. And disconnecting. Let's go. Setsu. Walk away, hero. Ah, gets a six trade. Fuck, my dice are shit. I put the troops in a place where Orange can't even break if he wanted to. Okay, green finally takes North Africa. Yep. And... Yeah, red and green is cool with blue. How the fuck blue is being allowed to hold these without having a capital? We don't know. Red gets 24 a turn now, which is almost what blue has in total. If you're red, you chill. As I said, you don't have to do anything to win this game. You just have to not lose it. And we lose the magenta cap. Yeah, I've been waiting for that for a while. He also gets a really good roll. Yeah, saw that one coming. This 21 moves here. Should have moved there to guard himself from magenta. If uh, red moved this 21 here, magenta couldn't even retaliate. So magenta dies, blue dies, we hope. Maybe orange and I actually outlive magenta and blue. It would be hilarious, considering how poorly orange has played this game. <laughs> Okay, blue's gonna guard there. Okay. I mean, if you're blue, you're reasonably happy about this. If I get to hold Orient, I'm a pig in shit. And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and take Orient next turn, right? I mean, at five, so it'll be a six. Five, four, three. Hopefully, we don't lose any more dice. But you never know. Okay. And there goes Blue's northern pocket. 
No. Magenta continues to have incredibly soft dice. Wow. Dude, put 13 on your capital. Red is going to take your fucking capital, bro. Okay, we have a set. It's killing blue. You think it's progressive? No. Huh. All right. I don't offer the line yet. Yeah, there's no reason for me to let him hold. I was thinking about offering the lines, but blue's just as likely to break me as he is to break green. If blue breaks green, though, I'm happy. I think blue breaks me. I don't think blue skips. Which is too bad. I don't get to hold Orient. Away she fucking goes. That means Orient doesn't get to hold shit either. Red's gonna break me. Fuck. What Red should do is Red should take the other Magenta Capital. But he's stacking troops on me. Because Red sees that I could come back, so I guess he doesn't want me to, which, fair enough. Red would like to decide who gets a higher placement this game. Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Magenta's getting eviscerated. Magenta also has no troops on capital, so... Yeah, blue's ha blue is laughing at his face. Good. See, Magenta gets a lower placement by, by just being shitty and having really bad luck. Nobody has stopped red, so that's a snowball for red. Red is now in an unstoppable position. Nobody could. Even with all of us coordinating on red, we would still fail to do so. Blue, please don't break me. Please. Please don't break me. Please hit green. Please don't break me. Please. Bro, let me get a plus six. Thank you. Thank you so fucking much. Let me get a plus six. Come on. Don't break the beeman. Yeah, he probably breaks me because green is scarier. Skips? Skips is fine. Thank you so much, green. Or er, blue, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, General. General, the manly. He's so manly. Orange must be pissing himself. Orange could kill blue here, which I would love to see. That would get orange <laughs> out of dead last. In order to break me, orange has to run through seven, ten, seven, seventeen troops. He might as well kill blue. I'm in a great situation. I have that the fact that I have anything is a fucking miracle. And the fact that there's nothing orange can do about it. Here we go. Now we offer the alliance. Now we offer the orange. Would you like to decline again? Would you like to end yours and blue's game trying to hit me? Magenta has bought it, so 10 minutes on the clock. Let's see if I get out of last. <laughs> I'm still feeling a fourth, maybe a third place here. Now I get six extra troops a turn. There is zero chance I let you hold that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Accept my fucking alliance request. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Red gets 33. Red can decide who he wants to kill. There's a very, very small chance I get second. <sighs> the only way orange, as I said, right, the only way orange doesn't get repeatedly slammed by me into attrition is by giving me the chance to talk to him. Right? End the war that you started. 
I am trying to actually do that. <laughs> he started the war. Okay, so is red disconnected? Or do you just take too long to play his turn? Red disconnecting would be a fucking miracle. That's why I have neutral bot. Blue continues to not break. Yep, just guard. That plus three turn is worth a card. Please don't break me. Just outlive magenta and you'll be happy. No, 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 I love you. I love you to the ends of the earth. Please don't break the beach, run. Okay. Now I'm going to hold my Joker and the Kitty. So I actually have somewhat of a generative position. Also, I'm incentivized to stall my turn such that uh, Magenta runs the clock out. And we get a higher placement, which sucks. Okay. And please sue my capital. Please, 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 please sue my capital. Oh, looks like Orange has the stalling methodology down. Anything you leave there gets broken. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, green just creeping, creeping up on that two point. Okay, is red still connected? 33 a turn. It's fucking ridiculous. All right, let's uh, let's get more coffee. Oh, Orange, maybe this time things will be different. Maybe I'll let you hold your bonus.
Red has already won this game, so I don't know why they don't just push their advantage at this point. Best I can do is third. Which really sucks. Very small chance for a second if green and red finally start hitting each other. And I keep all my troops on cap. Maybe magenta disconnects and then orange takes the blue kill? Which would give orange fourth and me third. I'd probably kill orange in that scenario. And lock in third. Well, yeah, I kill orange in that scenario. And maybe try and team with green. And what do we got? Like two minutes off? Before Magenta goes MIA. Oh. Yeah, blue is stalling as well. Good. Okay, so so uh so you guys understand stalling is a bannable offense. Um the way SMG has done the neutral bot is a mistake. Um, neutral bot takes 10 minutes on the clock to go MIA. What should be is a set number of turns to allow the player to return for honest disconnects. 10 minutes is far too long, right? The game state has massively changed over the course of 10 minutes. So allowing a player to disconnect for so long and then return to the game is unfair and shouldn't be, in my opinion. We're just going to take that bonus back and I'm going to break it again. Let's see if he lets me pull the plus four. Where it all started, Daenerys Alps. Just let me hold my fucking plus four. <laughs> Sixty-nine troops, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Magenta's gone MIA. We've locked in fifth. Does green take the kill? The green is taking the kill. All right. This is a flat play by green. Maybe we see a 1v1 between green and red before the other two players are eliminated. Other three players are eliminated. Maybe. I don't think so. I don't think we see green try to stop red. I think we see green defend and take second here. Yep. Now red probably breaks me. I don't actually know that red knows what to do here. I'm half of green size and a third of reds. So I'm not super impactful to the outcome. They do break. All right, this is good. Them starting a war with green is actually good. This 35 doesn't need to be here. This doesn't actually guard anything. I guess it does with this capital. All right, folks, what do you suppose the odds are that Orange lets me hold that? I'm going to say 0%. We preserve the Joker. Breaky, breaky time? Oh, he takes his own bonus. Oh, he takes his own bonus. I like that better. I like that better. Don't need to keep hitting you.
He finally found a moment. This is the first turn I haven't hit orange. I don't need to keep hitting you. I don't want to lose either, <laughs> man. <laughs> I don't want to lose the game. I still want to win the game. The problem is you capped where you capped. <laughs> And then you fucking stole my bonus turn one. So I couldn't let you have any advantage until I had advantage. Oh my God. If me and orange managed to work together. <laughs> All right. Red breaks Pete. Please don't. Please don't break Pete. Yeah. The 24. Thinks about it. He does hit the 24. All right, Green. Green, you're getting hit. <laughs> you're getting hit by this guy, and he's fucking massive. Orange takes um, this. I let him hold it, if he lets me hold mine. Also, blue, if blue was good, what blue would do is he would either stack here or here. Um, probably actually he'd stack on... If blue was good, I think he'd stack on me, because it would give him the best line to access the rest of the board and be impactful and play to win. Um, but him playing to win by skipping is still quite good. Take it, Orange. I'm going to let you have it. Orange is going to be fucking shocked that I let him have it. Does green reciprocate into red? It's a 34. Good. This is actually really good. This gets me out of fourth, maybe. He's got 60. Does he hit? Or does he let red hold so much? The problem with letting red hold so much is that reds can still out... Yeah, you need to hit him harder than that, green. You see, he just gets 33 a turn. You need to use your 60 stack. Red isn't good, right? Red is slow. I'm just worrying about... We're fighting over a plus five. We're fighting over a plus three and a plus two. Right? The noob corner war. Sub war. All right. So, orange is actually in a sticky spot here. Um, orange isn't going to hit the blue 17. So, they're either going to hit my two or they're going to hit the red one. The red one costs red eight troops. Uh, I think, so I think it's far more likely that they hit mine too. Tap stack, set, kill blue. Yeah, they're killing blue. All right, this game is over. Loses attack orange. I'm I'm obviously gonna attack orange. Good luck. I love you too, buddy. Wow, we got a crazy good roll. Alright, now that goes up my ass. Or does it go back to capital? Orange now just going to feed the, the wind to red. Yeah, 
instead of playing to win from here. Cool. All right, that's what you Obviously, I don't let you revive past that. Oh, let's mail you later. Dude's trade. Yeah, I'll use the... Nah, I'll use the dude's trade here. Dinner readies, sure. I mean, a joke in the kitty is nice. Just play nice with both of these guys. Maybe they'll let me fucking come back. Also, uh, fuck you, Orange. You're garbage, and I'm glad you're dead. <laughs> Green! Green, please, don't break me. Don't break me. Don't break me, please, please. I love you. I love you. Don't break me. Break me. Yes. All right. Uh, he needs... All right. So me and green actually could work together to stop red. Depending on what red does, of course. Now, if red's good, he only goes bad to one of us. And it should be me because I'm weaker. So if you're red in this seat, it's correct for you to punish me to the advantage of green. You should just beat the shit out of me until I'm dead, and then you'll probably beat green. That's how I would play this if I was red. But I think if I was red, I would have already won the game, so... Easy for me to say. Sticks turn. You're so dumb. Okay, okay, okay. We cap stack. We don't break anybody. Defend. Just a touch. Cap is better. Grease is slightly better. There. Those two say all I want to do is hang out on my piece of the board. Let me hang out. <laughs> it probably doesn't work, but it might. <laughs> I can't believe I'm third. Oh, baby! Green hits red! Yes! Okay! Doesn't break anything, though. This is not a winning proposition for you, Green. He's getting 45 a turn. Ten set. Who does it go into? I mean, you've been hitting... You've been hitting green. You never hit me red. We've been cool all fucking game. <laughs> if I get second, I am happy with that. After having an attrition battle for the first... 20 fucking turns. <laughs> oh no. He's got guard stacks of fucking 35. I got a two. <laughs> I'm loving this game, dude. I'm so happy with third here. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it breaks. He hits me. He hits me. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Well, I mean. Oh, do you think? Do you want to hit him? Okay. Well, let's see how many, how far I get. Oh, oh no. I lose all my troops. There. One big cap. I have a puncher. I just lost 14 on a two, folks. Didn't feel good. Did not feel good. Okay. Green's gonna get in. Green is gonna get in, baby. Nice. I will work with green to the bitter fucking end, but I don't think we have it. I think red just has far too many troops at this point. He doesn't pop the stack. He does pop the stack. Oh, don't steal my capital. 
Right. Yeah. He helps me rebuild. Hit me. It's totally fine if you hit me. Hit me if you want to hit me, man. But you got to break more of red. Oh, that's so fucking good. Oh, he's guarding me. He's guarding me so I can rebuild. <gasps> okay, so red, the problem is red's going to break this. Which totally makes sense for him to do. Unless he runs off of this line to retake. Yeah, no, he takes the capital. Good for you. Smart, Smarter play. Red has enough troops to address both of us, so. But I will work with green to the bitter fucking end. <sighs> mm-hmm. Gets a pretty good roll in that 36 and just takes everything back there, too. Why not? Why stop, right? Why let me have anything? Here we have a set in the kitty, and it's Huapa time. Pappy, pappy time, folks. <laughs> oh, get fucked. Yeah, and I get, I'm, I lose 22 on an 18. Dude, my dice are horse shit. What is this fucking game? Green isn't using his 60, which he should be. Yeah, yes. Roll with that. Yes. Good for you, Green. Good. Hit the 37 as well. Piss off, Red. Fuck, yeah. No, you're going to roll. Oh, you're going to get the Scotland cap here. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I might be a factor in this game. No, he doesn't take the skull and cap too bad. Those are quite the troops. He breaks everything though. Yeah, you're going to get teamed on red. Fuck yeah, man. I will help green. Give me my fucking cap back. Breaks France, activates the 62. <laughs> I know what I do. Oh, you cock sucker. You cock sucker. Fuck you. Oh, I like that though. That's good. Use your cap, homie. Or rather, use your stack. <laughs> Hit this fucking guy. I can't believe this game's still going. Me and green equal enough of uh, what red has to, to keep fighting. Red should have just put all of his troops into me when I said so. Yeah, use it. Good. Use it. Hit this guy. Fuck him in his stupid face. What are the chances I can win this game? Okay, what does red do? 
Red now has no off-cap stacks. He has four capitals and 252 troops. Me and Green pretty much equal him. And Green is the one with generation, so Red isn't really incentivized to break me anymore. He's incentivized to try and address Green. Which he's doing. I get another capital somehow. He's gonna hit me now. Go around the bottom of the map. No, he's gonna take Russia. He's gonna go up. Bottom of the map, okay. Bottom of the map is fine, then I'll, I'll still get a lot of generation out of just a lot of territory. I mean, seven, six. Six plus my two for cap, eight troops. Better than less than eight troops. Fuck, my dice are so bad. Give green a line. Use your, use your fucking stack. Ah, too bad. That's okay. That's okay. I'm a lot more impactful to this game. As a ratio between me and red, I'm now half, almost half red size instead of a third, so. He leaves a six in the bonus. Ah, that's a, that's a bummer. The issue is green is also not very good. All right, Red's going to use that cap line now. Yep, 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 yep. And what do we do for red? Take Russia. Give up a cap to guard noob corner because we're a fucking noob. Is that what we do? I love that play for you. That is so extremely dumb and bad. Oh, oh, we're hunkering down in the noob corner, folks. <laughs> we're hunkering down in the noob corner, folks. Get fucked, you fucking noob. I love that. I love that for you. I absolutely love that for you. Now we have two capitals. Bingo. Green hits red. This is great. I'm not dead. Perhaps I can play a little tactically and win this game. We got an hour and four minutes. So don't hit me. Yeah, back off, right? He gives me that bonus too. I love you, Green. You're see, this is what I'm talking about with the homie play. General Ildrich12567 from Saudi Arabia. Are you are you ever a homie? Okay, so red can go like this. And break and he sees it and he takes it yeah that's fine why let pete have anything yep i feel you I feel you friend fuck pete fuck pete in his stupid stupid ass cool good job Breaks. Goes for the Africa break. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, Pete is fucked. So Pete has to rebuild.
Threes defend pretty good in true random. See if we can hold, hunker down on this corner of the board. Don't put troops there. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. I mean, this teaming still works for us. Yeah, hit him. Okay, hit him. Yes. Yes. Good work, Green. Hit him. I'm happy. For, I I like this a lot. On five cards, so preserve the Joker still. I, I will. I'll, I'll I'll put in the cavalry trade here. He protects me. Oh, he protects me. Thirteen goes down. Thirteen goes down. No, you missed. You fucked that up. Yeah, you fucked up. You switched to fortify too early. Protecting me there does do shit because you have this here. You need to kill that. Okay, red gets the eight trade. Yeah, it mean, doesn't do shit. Come on, come on, green. This is he's a great homie. He's just not very good. Uh, uh, okay, it's okay. It's okay. We're not dead yet. We should be dead. We should be literally, literally dead. So the fact that we're not dead is an absolute, absolute miracle. Let's see if my three actually defends an eight. Yep. It's the three. Don't blame me. Take something for himself instead. Yep. Hey, perfect dice on the three. Fuck. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not looking good. At some point we cap stack. Ooh, he doesn't break orient. Suck my suck my dick. I lose 13 on an eight. Man, what is this shit? What is it? What's this day of rest bullshit? What's this bullshit? All right. We're at 89. We're still in that, like, distant third. Don't put 17 there. Come on, man. Oh. Okay, green's very passive. So once we do reach an even three player, if we do reach an even three player, one of these guys might quit. <laughs> any guy quits at any time I lose. That's the other thing. But I get second. I am actually, if you can fucking believe it, still playing to win. <laughs> All right. That three, five goes down, hits the 16, could get unlucky. And then I don't hold Orient. Or I do hold Orion. What are you taking? Uh, I'll leave my caps locked. Take Germany. Okay. I think just stacking correct here. Let green break him. I'm too, I'm too weak. We're over 100 troops, though. 110 troops. We are, uh, green is less than double our size. And, and I'm doing the one really big strong cap versus two play. Does it break Germany? Do we take his own? He's fine with red being strong. Uh, Green just wanted me to equalize. He, doesn't, he obviously doesn't want me to get second either. I like... See, Green, I think, is playing to win. I, and I think Green is better than Red. Red has allowed himself to lose from a winning position. Or at least allowed himself the possibility of a loss. Breaks, but doesn't open the capital.
Do we hit the stack? Just to send that message. Fuck you. That's guarding me. Mm hmm. Can we card block this guy? That would be fucking fun. Red sets. Most of their stacks can't actually go into me. They can go into green. Sitting with a eight set in the kitty, holding the Joker. I think holding the Joker is the play in case I have to reciprocate. Mm -hmm. Red, you're letting me catch up, buddy. I would not do that if I were you guys. Guarding with threes now. 134 troops. We are closing the gap between us and our opponents. If this structure holds, I start stacking on those threes. This generates more than red. Red can go off the 53 cap, but he's getting 21. He does add to the 53 cap and goes down and breaks. Yeah, I don't blame you. Okay. What was I getting? Red got 21 that turn. I got 30. Green gets 27. So I'm now out generating both of them in the weakest position, or rather in the weakest troop count. So I worry about green going bad, but I don't think he does, at least not quickly. Green's protecting me. Okay, protecting me, I like. I want to try something sneaky. Every red territory I take, I'm going to leave a 10 in. Green gets 27. Oh, I didn't leave the 10 in. Damn it. All right, next time. I meant to leave a 10 there. I guess this is fine. And green puts up 21. It's 25 here in Brittany. Green's doing the same thing. Okay. That opens the 55 to break me. He says, yeah, he says your front is now your own trouble. I respect that play. I fucking totally respect that play, as a matter of fact. Good job, Green. I am at 190, Green's at 302, and Red is at 345, but Red hits Green here. Not me. Which lets me catch up even more. Unless he hits us both. No, he doesn't.
Ah, uh, we finally are forced to trade the Joker. Okay. Too bad. Okay, one point block there. Feeling good about this board position, I gotta say. <laughs> I gotta say, as long as I stay good with green, this board position is very good for me. We have bullied Red out of the East. He hunkered down in Noob Corner. I have two capitals. Green only has one, Red has three. I'm at 231, so I'm still the weakest player by a lot. There's a lot of game left here. But if I can win this one, I'm going to be ridiculously proud of myself. <laughs> what a fucking battle, folks! What an epic, epic battle! <gasps> Ah. <sighs> yep. Keep closing off your cap cards there. That's what I want to see. I don't give you cap cards there. It's a good cap. A lot of cap cards still. That's his original cap. Okay, green gets four. You could double knock the 94. A pop. Takes a red, takes a red single. Yes, cool. Yeah, the positioning here is that red hits green before they hit me. I'm at 260, red's at 371, and green is at 342. So, with red getting 20 a turn, green getting 31, and me getting... What am I getting a turn? 30. I guess it's a better board for green. Play my turn lightning quick. 88 stack. Once this stack reaches enough to take the 62 cap, I think we rush it. We've almost equalized. Ooh, if green takes that plus eight, I let him hold it. Yeah. All right, red. Now if red wants to rush down off the 62, I can take the cap easier. Okay, 117. Does anything to one of those 60s? Green gets 31. Yeah, now I'm trying to not lose any ground that I gain. I'm trying to gain ground slowly. So I equalize. They're equal. Red is now, uh, green has now surpassed red as the leading player. I want the status quo to continue. 
We actually team on red, if that's the case. And to 62? No, to London. He guards London. Well, you're tightening a noose on the east. By not losing ground when we take. Seventy twos. Almost out of cards. All right. So what I do here is I attack up and expect that if he uses troops, then those will be troops that aren't on that capital. So unless red does something, he's going to lose that cap in a couple of... Okay, he puts all of his troops on it, which is smart. He runs down to break. I want you to use that 90. Red must feel so pressured. I'm at 420. We dab on that, folks. 420 to 494 to 467. Once I cross Red's troop count. <laughs> Successful teaming. Successful, successful use of alliances, always going to be what gets you. Don't, if I may humbly suggest that you don't decline alliance requests because you don't know who you're playing against. So just having the ability to communicate is so much better than saying I decline the ability to communicate. Okay. Let's make a little cappy, cappy troops here and hop so the reason I'm trading and not guarding out um, is because I want, I actually want Red to use that 86 cap to try and penetrate me for a turn so I can take it without having to roll to uh, 2x multiple. At 450, red's at 506, green's at 520. Dude, back off. Just put it in the 107. I'd love that. That would be super fun for me. <laughs> okay. Feels good. This feels really good. And green's not betraying. I think green likes this board position as well. It puts him in a lead. Yeah, more on cap. Your cap had nothing on it, dude. Hmm. Okay, red takes a 10 trade. I don't think he hit 70 stacks in France, but he might. 
Also, there's no reason to one point here. You can one point here. And it's the exact same guard structure. Uh, I also want red to take cap cards such that he doesn't get them back. I don't know that green sees that or understands that. Oh yeah, we trade the, sorry, we trade the, I uh, have prog instincts. I'm actually trying to get Red to take his remaining one, two, three, four capital cards. One thing Green could do, which I don't know that he sees, is Green could go like this. Pop, 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 and then fortify a 70 there. He's card blocking on too many positions. Okay, what do we do for red? Yeah, we're going to trade there for a while. Everyone's going to take this territory. Ladies and gentlemen, I now outnumber the red player. Fuck yeah. I can't believe there's a shot to win this game. Fuck yeah. Okay, now in order to take a card, I have to actually open the red cap line, which I don't want to do. I can do this, I guess. If you're red, you're good. You now consider depressurizing that position and fortifying it off to guard here. Because now you can see I'm going to take it. Okay. Do we hit 111? No, we don't. No, we don't. Continue to tighten the noose. Oh, I like this. Oh, green. Okay. I thought he was going to put off captures, but he didn't. 70 is his magic number. Green is at 681. I'm at 623. Red's at 600. Still anyone's game. But now it's kind of my game to lose because I'm in a really good position. I have a really good relationship with green. So the question then becomes how hard is red going to hit me versus how hard is red going to hit green?
I think I status quo for a bit. I stopped tightening the noose. Let's get a lot more troops on our capital before we try and continue. Red will be the next one, I think, to make a move. Rather than me just rolling 200, green has to hit me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't worry. You can break that. I don't need a plus eight. He's, Red's going to break it anyways. Hit me. Absolutely hit me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred fucking percent. I'm not trying to hold that plus eight. <laughs> but smart. It was smart to, to negotiate. All right. So um, green's at 715. So he has 60 something troops on me. It's not that big of a gap. That's a two turn interval. If you're red, you're really scared here. You have to do something, right? You have to give up a capital and break us, but like we've worked together. So maybe you put all your troops on a single cap and, and fucking stack forever. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Fine with infinite hits here. Pseudo infinite hits. Because what I actually want is I want this to go this way, right? That's why it's strong here. It's strong here. It's weak this way. I want red to hit green and feed me this win. Red also needs to just fortify this out, 158 here. Because then that access is everything he needs to access. But, of course, Green has done a great job of gumming up the top of this board with 70s and 80s. I've gotten, a, I've gotten more territory um, with far less troops. My stacks are 30s and 20s, but the, the ones that matter are bigger to try and guide the eye into a certain direction. Excited for how this game ends. Red also now has 666 troops. The mark of the beast, folks. Red is thinking. All right, sorry, folks. So just a little uh, administrative, administrative work. All right, you're one thirty nine. You're worried about losing it. It only gives you plus two. This is a much better position for red. If you're red, at some point you think about hunkering down there. Getting thirty two a turn. We like getting thirty two a turn. Just keep building it out. He can still break me. He can't get far. I 
His most efficient line of attack now is this way. Into green, but also be into me. And one hour and 40 minutes on the clock. Holy fuck. I'm getting 37. Green is only getting 29. So I'm getting by far the best. I like my position more and more. It does rely on green being cool. Green has a lot of reciprocal stacks waiting to go either way. He's playing the middle position very good. Green is actually playing very well. Um, oh, wow, I hold that. Okay. I don't need to take a card. I don't need to take a card at all. It's got a plus eight. Yep, green sets. 860 to 906. 40 troops. I'll take 40 troops a turn. Oh, 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 yeah. Double red. You just sit there with the 100 stack. And 10's probably good. No, he's not good. He's going to keep letting red take cards. That's fine. Red doesn't know how to get out of this. One of the things you do, I think, if you're trying to get out of this, is at some point, you cap stack on a single massive capital, and you wait for your opponents to hit each other, and I think they do. Either that or they stack on your capital and they slow roll you. But, again, I don't... If I'm getting a 40 a turn, I certainly don't need to open the... Ah, this opens the cap line into... The direction it's already open in so we'll do that card blocking isn't really a thing in uh in fixed And as soon as Red uses the 136 cap troops, that cap is gone, and I take it. Then I have less points, and, and green would truly be in the middle. So moving to here is, is additionally a good move for Red, because that would force me and green to be in more contact with each other with no boundary on him, or very little boundary on him. So that would test the strength of our alliance. Them trading with each other is good for me. All right, that lets me hold. It's the opposite of progressive capitals. Them trading with each other is good for me. I gain ground that I don't lose. I'm holding 36 territories. I'm almost caught up to green. I'm almost the troop lead. I don't open this because I don't want red to have access to 200 more troops in the sphere. He can fortify them off cap if he wants. 
Good. Use it. Goes to that capital. Gives it to me. Gives it to me. Gives it to me. Gives it to me. Fuck yeah. Gives it to me. I guard the bottom front, but not threatening green. Green breaks me in the middle. No. We card skip here. Unless he gives me cards in Berlin. Yeah. I'm cool to stay soft to green. So the way we build that out is... More on capital. We also know the troop lead. And we stay soft too. We say, you could fucking hit the shit out of me, right? But if you trade with me here, if he moves one territory this way, we can trade here infinitely and never give red any more cards. Does he like that? <laughs> Looks like he does. Cool. I'm the most generative position. Me and green are tied up. We're going to tie this news around ready even more. Or I can get a card in Netherlands. Yeah. I just keep big ass stacks kind of non threatening. At some point, green has to betray or slam into red because he's not advancing the game state in his favor anymore. There's guards there or what? Oh, he's going to let red, he's going to let red enter the board. Okay, let's go. Red does not enter the board. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Good. He's hoping red works with them. Force a choker. Yeah, you know, I really don't hate, uh, I don't hate that attempt. I don't hate that attempt by green at all, but if red didn't take it. I definitely don't stack here, right? This exactly, the, the whole difference, the whole reason that worked out the way it worked out is because I stacked here, interior. I mean, now there's a 50 there. It was a one. Red is less likely to do it now. I got a fucking free cap, baby. Patience. These settings leverage negotiating ability and patience. Incredible patience.
I love this. At some point, green breaks, because now I'm in a... The lead is increasing, right? I cannot believe this is working. Now I have to wait so, so long to leverage my position further, but I can parry if green breaks. If either of these guys bought, I win. The way I lose is by one of them suing into me and giving the win to the other. I could still get third. But all three of these guys, or all two of these guys are patient, right? I, uh, I believe the word is both. The word you were looking for, Pete, is both. Um, Yeah, this position is just so generative. Hundred troops on green. That's not going to change. Red gets seventeen a turn. I get forty. He skips. Okay. I'm very happy with how I'm playing this game. <laughs> very, very happy I didn't die to fucking orange. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How the shit am I still alive, folks? This is fucking wild. Sometimes we even impress ourselves as I'm patting myself on the back. And we're, it's not over yet, Pete! Okay. Red putting more troops on his capitals and skipping instead of taking cards. Yeah, he would love it if we hit each other, but we're not gonna. There's the problem. Nothing in it for us to hit each other. We might as well kill you. We've teamed on you successfully, so. Green's not breaking. Green's waiting for me to break, and I never break. I never go bad neighbor to green. Green has enabled this comeback. We're now more than 100 troops ahead. Is a card? Four trips to the capital. I like Green's play of trying to let Red get in. But Red didn't take the bait.
This is such a cool end game. I love it. I also don't care if I don't get cards, right? I'm getting 40 a turn. 42 troops? No. 45 troops a turn. Fuck, man. A lot of troops. And I remain soft to green here. And that's fine. fucking misclick on these on these Netherlands at some point. Okay. Pretty much most of my new troops now need to be on capital because I have the position. I can parry if the position is broken, but having a shitload of troops on cap is really useful. Just better defense. We're over 1,500 troops. Red has 1,000. Okay, we're gonna break. All right. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. Okay. So I don't retake. Because that only cost me three troops. This is an equalizing play from green. We respect equalizing plays. We respect someone saying, I don't want you to just win the game. I also have 200 troops on this man. Let's kill red first. Why don't we just kill red? Nope. He went bad. All right. Okay, that's good for red. So now I'm 200 troops ahead of. I need to guard against green. Green keep hitting me. Red doesn't accept. I can't retaliate. Take his capital, maybe. Let's hit red. Let's finish off red first. Before we kill ourselves, right? Let's get first and second. Yes. Yes. Let's get first and second. Well played, sir. Let's get first and second. Can we do that? <laughs> and red can break the 138 now. And if I was red, I would. Close to the line. Cool. I put no more troops at the bottom. I'm not trying to escalate shit with green.
1385 Hits red. Yes, he's giving up. Yes, he's giving up. Fuck yeah. Green is giving up this game. Excellent. He tried to break me. I responded correctly. Hits him. Don't hit me. Hit me. Hit green. Hit green. Hit green. Ooh, red's so patient. Yeah, Green is obliterating himself. Hmm. Green has chosen third. Cool. <laughs> GG Green. Hit him red. Hmm. Okay. So this, let's leave 30 is. Can't get anywhere. the middle. Okay. Get a good roll on that. Hundred and eighty four. Hmm. Well, I can't fight both of them at once. If I fight both of them at once, I lose. Big capital. Come get me. Oh. 
Red hits me too. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go hunker down, man. I didn't actually get anywhere with Dude, put troops off cap, please. Let me steal your capital. Oh, do that. Oh, God. Ste let me steal your capital, you fucking moron. <laughs> yes. Let me steal your capital. It'll be amazing. Please put troops off your capital. Please do that. Are you fucking kidding me? Fortify troops off your capital. Yes. Don't toy with me, sir. Do so. I will be the happiest man. He botting? He's botting, I think. He's botting. Like that. He's giving it trying to give advantage to red by by disconnecting here. I think. I have a better position than red though. If he disconnects here, this guard's me, not red. Okay, red takes the four. Every fortifies that there I match. I think. I think. I think. I think green bots here. I think this is a bot out play. Let's see if I'm right. I think this is a fake bot out play or a bot out play. Yeah, okay. So, 10 minutes on the clock. So that's uh, 2.05. So, 2.15. Two 30. And I'm going to play my turn slowly. I'm going to say good game. Good game, well played. Now, if green returns, green returns. Yeah. I don't think green returns. He might. And he will find a large amount of troops stacked against his capital. I will eventually take it. Let's see if this guy takes a peek. This is why we do neutral bot. Ensuring that this guy gets third now. I should take my turn slowly. The 10 minute thing. Maybe red punches through the 139. You're not getting it, dude.
You're not getting it. Nice try, though. You're not getting it. You're not getting it in that way. I can re-raise from all my caps. Not letting you in that way. You have to punch through 126 green troops to break me. And then we'll play. The longer you wait, the longer it takes. The more, the more he has. Okay, we're just we're we're just put we're going all in on this position, eh? Don't blame you, I suppose. Want to start taking troops off your capital, sir? I have more troops than you is the problem. Start taking troops off your capital. How big is this man's dick? <laughs> this allows Green to return at any time and um, win out of nowhere. So we're going to play it nice and slow. This plays right into Green's hand if he is a returner. Come on, Red. Don't be dumb. Get second at least. It's five minutes of the ten. Let red punch through the middle. Put troops on cap, I think. I hate stalling. It sucks. But it's the correct play for neutral bot. This is the correct strategy for this situation. Unfortunately, you have to stall. Okay, so tw 2 minutes 11. So we have... Four minutes until green goes MIA, or should.
And through the 243. Through the 142. And breaky breaky time. Let's go. We fighting, baby. We fighting, we fighting. Does he take the 206 cap? Open the 756. Does he take it? No. Red does not take it. Okay. And now we are grinding. We're in grind mode. Where does his stack go? Oh, he opens the 756. Okay. If that stack's off capital, I'm hitting it. Yep. Okay. Suck my fucking dick. <sighs> now what? Good game, Red. He's gone MIA. Good game. Well played. You you threw a one game and I beat you after fucking two and a quarter hours. Holy fucking shit! Ladies and gentlemen! I won this fucking game that didn't matter and I'm so excited. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Oh. Get fucked. Fuck yeah. Feels so fucking good. Oh my god. <laughs> Get fucked. All you need to do is step off, Red. This game is lost. Good game, sir. He might not know that the MIA means that Green locked in third. That was very satisfying. Kills green? Yeah, kills green. Nope. Retakes. Retakes is fine. Bad roll. Ah, okay, roll. Yeah, good job. Do you keep hitting the beat man? Ah. Yes, you do. Wapa. GG. Good game, bro. It was a hard battle. there you have it ladies and gentlemen i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope you found some of it fun and entertaining
maybe a little bit educational and informative. There's lots of lessons in this one. If you are interested in getting better at the game for risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube, doing weeknight streams on Twitch. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Defeating a novice. Two intermediates. Two experts. Green was an intermediate. Red was an expert. Not bad, man. Yeah, and <laughs> orange was an expert too, who who uh, understood 0% of diplomacy. Uh, <laughs> ladies, gentlemen. All right. Uh, sitting at 27,672 skill points. That is rank 452 on the world leaderboard and we have now gone uh six and three on this grind i'm very happy with where we're at in terms of the settings so let's see let's see if these settings have legs folks let's do a couple more iterations they're long games but i don't mind that i get to make a show so thank you for watching have a great day i love you smell you later folks